Hello everyone, or welcome back to my channel. Another day, another video. And I'm kind of doing a bit of a workwear special slash series at the minute. Um, I think my Instagram reel will be up on this so far. Um, but I thought I'd bring it over to YouTube as well and dedicate some outfits to spring workwear and talk a little bit more in depth about that. So I'm going to be showing you some outfits as always, kind of explaining the reasons why I paired them together, using some really staple pieces. And I've mentioned this many times before, but for me, I think accessories, accessories are the key to every outfit, I think, but particularly in workwear, because I like to keep the rest of my outfit simple when I'm sharing my workwear looks, um, professional, sleek, simple. And then the accessories are where you can inject a little bit of personality, but I also just think they're the real kind of cherry on the cake. So that can be jewelry, um, your shoes and bags. So I have a beautiful bag to show you today that I'll be wearing throughout the video. It's from a brand called Oleada and it's a brand that is founded by female professionals for the modern woman, which I just feel like is a great statement within itself. So the name of the brand is derived from the meaning of ocean waves and that kind of tributes these multifaceted gentle yet powerful women um, that the brand wants to represent. Um, so I feel quite proud and privileged to be able to work with them today and share their beautiful bag uh, in this video. So this is the mini Reverie Hobo and it's made out of premium recycled leather. It is water scratch and stain resistant as well. So I think if we're talking workwear, that kind of comes top of the priority list. And not only that, but it's just a really beautiful bag that will go with everything. What I love about this is it's extremely soft and lightweight. Again, a crucial thing if you are commuting, the absolute worst thing is to be lugging around a really heavy bag. So the fact that your bag starts off so lightweight, and I really mean it is lightweight, just means you can kind of cram it with whatever you want, all your bits for the day ahead, and it will still feel like you're not carrying around a heavy bag. This has lots of room in it. Um, I've kind of got a cutaway showing you the different pockets it's got. It's got a little pocket on the back. It's got two little pockets on the front. It's got the zip as well as the clasp, so it keeps it extra secure. It's got an inside zip and pockets as well, just to kind of give you all those options and extra room. I'm all about the zips and having extra security zips inside a zip so this is perfect again if you are commuting you don't want things to be falling out of your bag as you're kind of rushing um, for the train so it's a great one for that and something I'm really keen to show you on the bag is how you can change the strap in lots of different ways as you know um, here on my channel I'm all about being able to wear your pieces and maximize that's my kind of keyword maximize your wardrobe and wear your pieces in lots of different ways. And when you actually purchase a piece that has the ability to kind of change the way it looks, you get even more for your money and more wear out of that piece. And it just becomes something a bit more unusual that you can adapt for different looks. I mean, it's great for workwear, but you could also wear it um, in the daytime too, kind of casually, because the strap changes. So here I've got it, the short strap, but I'll be showing you how you can change it from short strap to long strap and also change the color of it as well. So on the top we have the matching sort of a crew color of the bag but underneath that and just inside where the zip is we have a very soft tan shade as well. So what you can do is adjust this strap so you can have it longer, you can make it a full cross body bag if you want. You can essentially have it any length you want. So if you like, I'm someone who likes a short cross body bag so you could have it kind of sitting almost um, on your hip or, or waist area. But you could also have it a little bit longer, kind of a bit more casual. Um, and again, easy if you're commuting to work, just throw it on across your body and you don't even have to think about it. But also um, I think it looks really professional and smart. When you have it on the short strap too, you could kind of have it on a medium short and wear it over your shoulder. You could have it more, it's like a handbag size and wear it just to kind of carry around kind of just in your hand. Or you could even do it where you've got the short strap and then you wear that on your shoulder so it's really nice and snug. So the fact that this is so multifunctional means it can work for all of the looks that I'm showing you today. Um, and I think you'll be able to see just how seamlessly it fits in with all those workwear outfits. 
Pants. So I do have a discount code for you, 15% off. You can use the code, all capital letters, Lydia Love, all one word, 15% off, and that runs from 14th of May to 14th of June. So you've got a month to kind of look over your purchase and decide which one you want. But I would personally really recommend the um, mini Reverie Hobo. So look number one is all about light tones and colors. Here I'm wearing this crisp white shirt. I mean, you cannot go wrong with a shirt for work wear, especially in spring. It doesn't feel too stuffy. It gives you that kind of protection on the arms if it's a slightly cooler day, um, but it also looks really smart and put together. And then I've gone for the split hem trousers. These are from Naked Fashion, um, but I think any kind of lighter colored trousers with this, they don't have to be split hem. You can dig something out in your wardrobe. Another kind of tonal light pair of trousers would work. Um, they don't have to be this kind of creamy color. They could be any kind of lighter shade, I think would look really nice with this outfit. And then I've continued that with the shoes, bringing that lighter color in with these Todd's loafers. These are so comfortable, such a great workwear um, piece. I love loafers for workwear. And I think, again, talking about the importance of the accessories, these loafers just really tie the outfit together and give it a little bit of an oomph to these simple, minimal pieces. And of course, so does the bag. So I've kind of gone for this like medium length of the strap um, and showing a bit of tan as well, just to kind of add a bit of a contrasting tone in there, but nothing too out there. It still feels really tonal and minimal. Um, and I think just, such an easy look to recreate. I know, I think a lot of people always gravitate towards black trousers and a white shirt or gray trousers and a white shirt, but just think outside the box maybe a little bit, go for something a bit different, like a lighter color. And by contrast, outfit number two, we've gone for something a little bit darker. I definitely think you can wear dark colors in spring and a really easy way to kind of bring it into a spring season is by adding these crew or off-white tones like I've done in this outfit. So we've got the bag here, which just brings some of that lightness in. And I've tied that together with my Isabel Morant belt and kept the Todd's loafers on. And I do think if you are opting for knitwear, this is a very light, it's, well, it's cashmere knit actually it's very fine um, not too heavy but still warm I think if you are opting for knitwear maybe think about something with a collar like this one this is from Everlane a few years ago I'll see if it's still around if not everything will be linked below and alternatives if they are older which most of the pieces probably are but just think about um, maybe how you could add a little smart twist to your knitwear maybe by bringing in a collar or something like that gone for that with these straight leg trousers black trousers of any kind. Again, a classic wardrobe staple. Um, these are from Novo London. I think it always pays to invest in quality um, for those real staple hardworking pieces. So I do want to show in this video kind of multiple ways to wear things. And so what I'm doing is bringing the black trousers over, but adding a white t-shirt. Now, depending on your work environment, if it's a very professional corporate environment, I know a t-shirt won't really work. Um, you could swap that for maybe a silk blouse. That said, I think most of us or a, or a lot of us um, work in environments that are maybe smart, but not, you know, over the top corporate. So um, I think a white, crisp white t-shirt that you can balance out with something smart like the trousers or loafers really works. And I've just added my trench coat to this. Um, again, if you are commuting in the morning, there's a bit of a chill in the air, you can pop your trench on. Um, you could even layer this with a blazer if you wanted to, um, or a cardigan again, depending on your work environment, or if it's a bit of a warmer day, you can just keep the t-shirt on. And then the shoes and the bag and the smart trousers will kind of um, elevate it to a more workwear kind of outfit. Next up, and I'm going back to the trousers I had on, was it my first outfit? Um, the split hem trousers kept the white t-shirt on again just showing the versatility of these pieces but added a blazer this time again if you are going for something like a white t-shirt that can be um, considered a bit more casual adding in those pieces like a blazer will really help to smarten that up so i've gone for this blazer from 12 stories gone for a navy i think navy is such a nice spring shade to um, inject into your wardrobe, um, but it still feels really smart and professional. So if you're not kind of interested in black, you're kind of bored of wearing black from winter or black doesn't maybe suit you, think about navy because that does feel instantly spring-like. Then completed it with my off-white accessories as well, tying it all 
together. I do think the split hem trousers um, gives a slightly more trend-led feel. If you kind of want to stick to those basics and minimal pieces, you could maybe look for those small details in pieces like the split hem that will just kind of update your outfit to make it feel a little bit more fresh and modern. Suiting obviously is a great one for work. I think a really nice way to do this is more of a wide leg trouser, oversized feel personally. I love a bit of oversized, I know not everybody does, but a light colored suit together um, just feels really chic and easy to throw on together. You don't even have to think about it. Again, with the white t-shirt, I just feel like it gives it a nice contrast between the very, very smart um, suit together and then a bit more of a casual top with it. And then what I've done is change the strap on my bag to the tan side and combine that with more tan colored ballet flats just to kind of give that contrast of color in the outfit. But I do think the other side of the strap would work with some more kind of accru type shoes. Um, but I just wanted to bring in a bit of tan to create the contrast between this sagey greeny color and the tan. I think, again, that feels really nice and spring-like. So obviously we want to get as much wear from our blazers and our staple pieces, our more investment pieces as possible. So what I've done is pop the same blazer on as the suit, which is the beauty of a suit. You can mix and match with so many pieces. But put the blazer on from the suit with this rib knit dress with the buttons down. Again, I think what makes this dress feel a little bit smarter is that buttoned collar detail and if you are working in somewhere more casual I think this would be appropriate for you and the blazer just adds a bit of structure to a more relaxed dress as does the loafers that I've paired it with and the bag. And the bag's a relatively structured shape so it does just elevate that more casual knitted dress. On to my final and possibly favorite outfit. Um, I'm wearing the skirt that I'm wearing now. It's from Marseille, London, with um, a really smart black shirt from Novo. The belt that I'm wearing now, I think is a real centerpiece of this outfit. Again, going back to accessories and the importance of some really nice accessories to elevate um, your look. A belt is, of course, a part of that, this kind of crook effect belt from Polen, um, and then I've just gone for these heeled mules, the colour sandwich, black on the top, black on the bottom, just keep it feeling really cohesive for work where I think that's quite important to kind of have all that colour balance in there. And here I've gone for the shorter bag strap, just shows how the strap on your bag can kind of swing the way your look goes. With this being a slightly more formal look with the heels, I do think the shorter bag strap ties in a lot better with that, makes it feel a little bit more put together and professional. So again, depending on your work environment, you can adjust the strap of the bag to fit with that. So I hope you've enjoyed those looks, found this useful, giving you some inspo for your workwear. You can go and find more on my Instagram at Lydia Jane Tomlinson, where I do lots of styling tips and reels over on there if you don't follow me already. It will be linked below. And um, don't forget to use Lydia Love for your 15% discount off Oliada. And thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.